things. My new nickname is Genghis Khan, but without the yay, but his last name's my side. I ride with that demeanor. I'm armed to the teeth. You're Venus, and you've never been to the Venus. What's good, people? You see, we got classic Knicks versus classic Suns, and I'm gonna just start it off. I'm gonna just drop the nigga off with a drop step. That's how I'm gonna start the video off. Boom. That's easy. You got a double Patrick. This was a good game. This was a good game. But I was doing it on the offensive end and the defensive end too. Give me that. Snatch, snatch that out the air. No, sir. So it was a good game. He was doing, he was doing with Penny and Stefan getting to the rim. And this game was all about adjustments, and y'all will see that later. Because you'll see the winner was the guy who made adjustments, and the loser was the guy who didn't make the adjustments. So that basically was it. I'm trying to get my defense together. I'm trying to get my jumpers together. This is the next level. I passed freshman or whatever, so we're at the next level. So Or junior varsity, whatever the first level is, I passed that. So now we just trying to do what we can do. I'm trying to get in the paint with Patrick, and I'm trying to abuse him. You got to take advantage it ain't, if they don't double team your superstars, especially if your superstars are big. If they won't double team them, double team them then you just fucking abuse them. Then you just abuse them. That's all you got to do. But he has so much speed on his team. His team was so much faster than mine with Marbury, with, with Hardaway, just everybody, period, Amari. Like, his team was so much faster faster than my in a ball handling and i wasn't playing defense on ball defense like i should have so he was just blowing past me getting stuff like that but he gets blocked twice patrick got pissed off about it patrick was like nah you're not doing it again you're not doing it again so as you can see i'm already down 23 16 because i yeah i'm scoring with patrick but he keeps getting to the rim he keeps getting to the rim over and over and over and over again like i said this is a crazy game where we definitely had to uh uh make adjustments like i said the person that won was the person that made the adjustments that, that that's just as simple as that so i'm just trying to stop them from getting to the rim that's all i'm trying to do but i'm being stubborn i'm being stubborn i'm saying hey i can do this by myself i can do it by myself and i couldn't i couldn't I can stay in front of him. I can stay in front of him. I can do it. But I couldn't. He was wearing me out. Like completely. I mean, just look at this. Look at that. Saucing my ass up. Look at it. So we had to take a time out. I got to figure out what to do. I'm down seven. I'm down seven. I'm tired of having these damn comeback games. I'm sick of it. So I once again, but hey. That's the New York Knicks for you. They got to fight. That's an old school Knicks, a fighting spirit. So we're going to fight. We're going to fight and we're going to run. And I'm still the flush guy. I'm still flushing people and I go to a 2-3 zone. I'm sick of getting to the rim. You're going to have to make your threes. You're going to have to make them. I, I'm, I'm going to make you shoot. I'm going to make you shoot. But nothing else in the paint. Andy Green's it. But part of believing in your game plan is not abandoning it after one made shot so i'm staying with it i am staying with the zone and he's gonna have to keep making those shots over and over again and patrick is gonna keep dominating patrick, patrick is gonna keep dominating y'all see i got the green on the free throw i've been working on my free throws getting better and better because i was not cashing them that first game memphis versus memphis so let's see how it work out i'm running the zone two three zone you're gonna have to shoot the ball you got to shoot the ball and you're gonna have to make some crisp passes that's what you're gonna have to do but i'm there the whole time i'm there the whole time look at us look at our defense we just packing the paint we just packing it see he couldn't get what he wanted he got scared to shoot with shoot with sean marion and takes a horrible shot we get the rebound and so we running back down court. I'm running. If I don't get a, if I don't get an open shot, you already know who it's going to. I got an open duck, but if I don't get an open duck, it's going to Patrick. That's it. And we still in zone. He's gonna have to figure out something to do. He's gonna have to make a counter adjustment now. He can't make his threes. He can't make his threes. Sometimes when you play, you gotta challenge that person to make their threes. You gotta challenge him. And look at this stupid Patrick wide open. Patrick's on fire and he pissed the fuck off because I'm making these stupid ass plays. Look at that. Look at that. I come back, but mental errors keep me behind. It's not so much about the game plan as the mental errors of the players on the court. 
All I can do is just give us a good game plan. The players got to execute. They got to execute. Patrick can't do it alone, or maybe he can, because he's been ducking on people the whole game. Sometimes Patrick say, hey, get out the way. Let me do it. But Patrick can't guard everybody. He can't play defense on everybody. And we give up another two points there. We give up another two points there. So it's 34-28. We made the adjustments I feel like we needed to make. But the mental errors, look at that. The mental errors. The mental errors. But Patrick is steady bailing us out. I'm drop stepping him to death. I think he was off balling and he was not doubling. I'm going to abuse you with Patrick Ewing all day. I'm going to abuse you all day. And we got to play defense. There go Patrick again bailing us out. He was the MVP of the game. He was definitely the MVP of the game. 34-30. I'm starting to come back. I'm trying to dump it into Patrick. Now I'm getting too greedy. I'm trying to force it into Patrick. And look what we do. We give up a two point. We down six. We down six. I've been doing all this fighting just to have a one point deficit. Because I was down. Look at that. Mental errors. Mental errors. One point difference, I mean. Mental errors. I get the block. He gets the rebound. We wasn't crashing the boards. I make sure I get back on my own ball defense. I'm making sure I don't jump and get the foul. But we got a good, but we got to score. We can't just force it into Patrick. We either got to get it to him the right way or somebody else is going to have to do something. And as you can see, nobody else was willing to step up. Nobody else is willing to step up. But that's what being a superstar is about. Patrick got to step up. He got to do what needs to be done. But they are playing team ball. They wearing us out. The only thing that can beat team ball is the will of a superstar. That's it. That's it. And they couldn't compete with Patrick's will. They can't compete with it. Patrick said, it doesn't matter what y'all do. I'm not letting this game slip through our fingers. Everybody else just needs to play hard on defense, and Patrick will do everything he needs to do. So I switched to a 3-2 zone because I see some things that he was doing to still score. And so, yep, it helped me play those passing lanes better. So now I'm back down six. I'm trying to get to the, to the rim. They stop me. I give it to Patrick. He's still not doubling Patrick. And now he ain't got nobody on him at all. You don't want to do that. That's an and one. You see how do I, you look at look at Patrick Ewan, dude. This look like somebody who won't dunk on you. The nigga got an Adolf Hitler mustache. I mean, come on. Come on. We down three. We down three. We still in zone. You're not going to get. Look at the defense. It's all about adjustments. You got to think this game. This is a thinking man's game, and I'm at the basket. Patrick said, I'll do it on my own. He said, I'll do it on my own. He can't get to the rim with Hardaway. Look at that. He's run, He tried to speed burst to the rim. I stopped him. There he goes with Penny Hardaway. At this point, he's not going to make these shots because I took everything away from him within a flash. So now he has to come to terms with, I can't do what I've been doing. Just like I did. So it's still a close game. He still has time to make that adjustment. But you got to double. He's stubborn like I'm stubborn. He feel like, oh, I could do it on my own. But I was able to put my stubbornness behind me. And eventually, hopefully he can put him, he is behind him. But you can't take stupid shots like that. Frustration shots. He frustrated because he doesn't want to double Patrick. He frustrated because I'm stopping him from going inside. But you got to double Patrick. He's on fire again. What timeout's not going to help you? Timeout's not going to help you. Now you bring the double. Now you bring the double. See? But now Patrick is on fire. It's too little too late. Patrick is on fire. That's a good steal. That's a good steal. You get the steal. We still playing. You're going to have to make your jumpers. We still in zone. That fast break shit is over with. It's over with. We still in zone. And Patrick is on fire, so it doesn't matter. Look at this shot. He's on fire. You can't let Patrick get started. You can't wait till the superstar get 40 to start, to start doubling. Now it don't even matter. Now it don't even matter. So he's still trying to figure out what to do. He's still trying to get people at the rim. And look at that. He misses from the corner wide open again. You got to make these dudes make their shots. You got to make them make their shots. This Penny Hardaway, I don't think, has tremendous three-point rating anyway. So he has to time it perfectly. And look at me. I'm trying to drop step and force it. But he stops at that time. 
He stops at that time. But my defense has changed. My defense has changed. So I can't afford to miss a couple shots because now I'm playing lockdown defense. Now he can't just run. It, look at that. He can't just run and play a fast-paced game and my defense is nowhere to be found. He can't do that. Get it to Patrick, number 54. What the hell are you doing? You don't touch the ball. You get the ball to Patrick Ewing. That's what you do. I don't care if he miss. You get the ball to Patrick every time. We still on the defensive end. Look at that. Horrible, terrible passes. But I'm there every time. And I give it to him in the corner again, and he misses it. Very early. Now he's not even timing it. He's so frustrated, he's not even timing the shots anymore. He's so frustrated. So we so that that's what's able to that's what's able to give us this victory. Frustration foul. That's it. Like, and I hit a green to seal it. I wasn't sealing it with my free throws last game, but I seal it with my free throws this game. And y'all can see we still in, I, I'm I'm playing hard to the very end. I'm playing hard to the very end. Look at Patrick with the steal. Who else but Patrick Ewing? Who else but Patrick Ewing? I might play with this team again because Patrick is a beast. And as you can see, when you in, when you in the eye of the storm and you see the mark of the beast, you have no choice but to quit.